Elimination Chamber 2024, the men's Elimination Chamber match left us with a lot of questions for the future, for WrestleMania, for next week. And the first question I want to ask is, are we going to have a feud between Logan Paul and Randy Orton? Or are we going to have a feud with Logan Paul against Kevin Owens? Or maybe at WrestleMania, there's going to be Logan Paul versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. Who knows? But at the end of the men's Elimination Chamber match, as we all saw, there were three guys left. Randy Orton, Logan Paul, and Drew McIntyre. And when everyone thought that Logan Paul is going to take the victory with these brass knuckles, Randy Orton hit an RKO out of nowhere. So Logan is out, and we had that overselling of Randy with the back injury. And Randy, even though he has a back injury, he's selling it, he's playing, he's not having a back injury. Even though he has it, he made an RKO to Drew McIntyre. And when everyone thought there's going to be a Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, Logan Paul came out and he hit Randy with his brass knuckles and that's how Drew won the match. So what's cooking now? What's cooking? So Logan is having two public enemies now. But if there is a match at WrestleMania between Logan Paul, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, does that mean that Randy Orton is now a mid-carder? Disgusting, right? Or does that mean that Kevin Owens is a mid-carder? Or all three of them are mid-carders? Or Logan Paul is a main eventer? I don't see any other options besides that. But we can say hypothetically it's a triple threat match at Mania. Who should win, guys? I think that Logan Paul should retain. Yes, that will hurt the reputation of Randy. That will hurt the reputation of Kevin Owens. And basically, they will. that will mean that they will lose their time. But I feel like Logan is a credible champ. I kind of like Logan. I dislike Logan with his videos and stuff like that. But I like Logan in WWE as a champ. His heel work and all of that stuff. So I think he should retain. But that will leave Randy empty-handed because he came back, he said he wants to go after the bloodline, he couldn't go after the bloodline. All of a sudden he is the Elimination Chamber match, trying to face Set at Mania, he's losing that, he's in that weird state of feud with Logan Paul, he's gonna lose that, and what's gonna happen to Randy? Maybe, maybe he should retire, no, no, don't retire Randy. I know you're watching this video, you said you have 10 more left in you. I want my kids to watch you, you know? Anyway, with all of that being said, I hope Logan to retain.